Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a motherboard from an Acer Nitro 5 AN515-55 or AN515-44 Acer Nitro 5 and the video gonna be about the charging port repair replacement on the on the Acer Nitro 5 uh, charging port, power jack, connector, socket, input port seems like there is something isn't right right here as you can see yeah. you see some sort of blackness all around the rear pin right there so what we want to do first is to check and see what seems to be an issue here see i'm not sure if this is the not sure if this is the right plug let me see if the smaller plug gonna work in there as well yeah the smaller plug works too all right so this is a special adapter all right so this is a special plug and special jack which which only comes on the Acer laptops like this one, so we're gonna plug it in. This plug only gonna show us the negative portion. If the negative portion is working fine, and the negative is working fine, it doesn't show us the positive working fine because the inner hole of this plug is too big for that pin. So, so we know that the negative is working. Now this is a slightly smaller diameter on the outside, but it has the proper pin uh on the inside so i want to check the inside portion as well by the way those uh power connectors they are really expensive and this is the only one i got i have to reorder another one and uh, if you decide to send one of our, one of those away just just email us that this is the laptop that you're planning to send away the uh, the uh, motherboard or the the uh one second the motherboard or the whole laptop uh, because i need to order those connectors i don't want to keep them a lot because again those are ridiculously expensive they are more expensive than any other connector i have seen because um again it's um I mean, someday I'm probably going to order them, but this is the first uh, laptop I see here for that connector. So, and maybe I'm going to be reselling them on the website. The website that's the link should be below. But again, if I'm not reselling them there, that means that you have to call, not call, don't call it, just uh, email and I will pre-order that connector. All right, so this, the negative, you see the negative doesn't work anymore because the outside is too small but the positive does work all right we got the working positive and let's see how well does it work well if we wiggle it around you know i think the problem is not the jack here honestly the problem is probably the power supply that the people use or maybe it's uh, not because here let's see let's take a look we get the we get the voltage here right i mean that blackness is what uh, i'm not sure about maybe it's oxidating maybe it doesn't make a good contact right here at that connection hard to say really hard to say is that the negative too let's see that's a positive we got two positives wow three positives let me take a look wow all of those three pins in the back are positive and how does it work really yeah so i think i'm out of the money on this laptop because i will still replace the jack but i don't think it's a jack issue Simply because, well, maybe it is. Hold on. 
No, it, it isn't. It, it conducts the electricity here. Conducts the electricity, it doesn't conduct it. This should be probably plus, because this is a plus. It goes through this guy. Then it goes here, and that becomes a minus. Yeah, you see, that's a minus. Uh, that should be the plus. So the problem is not a power connector, but a... Yeah, you see, this capacitor uh, shows us that there is a short on the motherboard. And this capacitor shows us there is a short on the motherboard. Yep. How about this guy? Yep, this one also shows us the shortage on the motherboard. Because when it shows us zero on the capacitor, that means it's a shortage on the motherboard. Yep. So it's a shortage on the motherboard. It's not a connector issue. So I spent so much money on this connector thinking that uh, this is going to resolve the issue, but no. All right, so this one doesn't show doesn't show us the shortage right here. And this guy doesn't show us any... Sh I mean, this one shows us shortage. All right, okay, let's see right here what else we got. All right, you know, for, for this guy, for the shortages, I usually going to just use this guy. Because it's a lot more... If it gives me a sound, that means it's a shortage. All right, so here, let's see. All right, so it shows that this capacitor is shorted. Okay, it doesn't mean the capacitor itself is shorted. It means one of the capacitors someplace is shorted. And that's what gives us the... Uh, the... Uh... Oh, look, this is uh, negative. And this is positive, so this is fine. Wow, take a look at that. So, this is fine. This is not fine. All right, how about here? All right, let's let's inspect further down the road. This is fine. This is fine. That's fine. That's fine. Again, if you hear a beep, that means this is negative. Could be negative. That's positive. Negative should show us beep because it's it's hard to. For me to figure out which one is plus, which one is minus. Yeah, but this area seems to be fine. If this area is fine, that means that this is uh, whatever this chip is, that should be fine. Uh, let's check closer to the CPU. Yeah, the, the area here someplace that's uh, maybe just a bad CPU. Let's take a look on the bottom of the CPU. Yeah, you see, uh, when under the CPU we see shortages. Yeah, GPU, CPU is shorting. So it's... Uh, it's not a jack issue. All right, so this is... Uh, yeah, it's either the CPU or the GPU is burned. What I can do here, I can do voltage injection, it's called. Uh, put this thing under an infrared camera. Let's connect the infrared camera. Hopefully the, the system gonna recognize it. Let's connect. Don't buy this, this is garbage. All right. Um, gar I, I looked at um, a video of another uh, person who does a lot of videos on the West Coast. And they were really happy about this product, but I am really unhappy about this product. Wasted a whole bunch of money on this stuff. And this thing right here shows everything a lot more. This guy, this infrared, shows everything a lot cleaner, the FLIR one. 
is much better product than the uh, but the problem with the flare one i can't connect it to the um to the computer so you could see where the shortage is there and that's the reason i'm using this guy because it gives me the screen right here and it gives me a screen let me see if i'm gonna find screen for one second nope that's not it how about here nope oh no nope. here one second let me figure this all right so let's switch to this here all right and the problem is that it's not being recognized right now for some reason and houston we have a problem all right all right i was unable to figure out how to connect the infrared so what i'm gonna do here is connect this tiny wire to to right here this is the uh, this looks like a positive end so i put some flux put some solder right there all right let's put this guy right here okay let's get all righty okay All right, let's take a look what we got here. We gonna connect the negative portion right here. We gonna power up the the um, system right here. Gonna be giving us five volts, three amps. Usually that's enough to see any issues anywhere. All right. So what we're going to do is connect this guy right here. And uh, this is the infrared camera. Oh, by the way, I needed to make sure the infrared camera is working. All right. So finally, I was able to get the camera to work now as you can see that's the jack right here all right and so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna point the camera on top of this whole thing and look for where the hot spots are at i'm inspecting the area right now to make sure that there is no hot spots right now all right so let's switch to the infrared camera and let's power up the let's power up the output three two one go oh right there you see it's called cpu issue all right so i'm gonna shut it down and it's gonna be cooling down anything else came up that's a metal part right here and there's something else here that came up well, let's do one more time. Let's do more, more power. Anything brights up here except the CPU? Nope, nothing brights up here except the CPU. That's where the positive wire is at. And... And... Oh, right there, something. Right here, let's see, what, what's that? What's that? No, that's not CPU. This guy brights up. All right, that's another chip. And there is a, there is maybe something here. Okay, now that's a metal part. And maybe something here. Now that's another metal part. All right, you know what? Let's flip the motherboard over. Let's shut down the whole uh, experience here. Let's flip this guy over, and see. 
So what did light up is this guy. It could be GPU, could be CPU, probably uh, probably this is CPU. You need to wipe up wipe wipe out the area clean. All right, so let's see maybe one of the capacitors here gonna light up. Let's switch to the infrared. Oh, you, you can see right away it doesn't even want to cool down right here. Right here. You see? This whole area is really... You know what, let's uh, let's reduce the amperage a little bit down to 2 amps. Because that's probably going to be less damaging to whatever. I mean, nobody going to rebuild that CPU already anyway. Alright, are we still hot right there? Alright, let's do a global picture. 3, 2, 1, power up. Yeah, nothing here really becomes warm. All right. All right. Yep. Except the CPU itself. All right. So, guys, unfortunately, this repair isn't going to work out. Simply because this chip right there lights up. And in the United States, nobody really gonna take time to to work on this guy. It's not really cost conscious. Yeah, that sucks. Pardon my French. Yeah, good thing I didn't spend, uh, I mean, so now I got one extra jack. So if you have a jack issue, send it over, I will replace it, no big deal. But this seems like really bulletproof jack. So chances that your jack is faulty. The only reason the jack is faulty is if you had to wiggle jiggle the plug the whole, the whole, all the way. So yeah, this guy is faulty. Everything brightens up, lights up. Sometimes it could be just one of the capacitors, but in, in this case, this thing is not really solvable. All right, uh, if anybody else was able to fix this system when, when the CPU is uh, lighting up as uh, being red hot shorting, please leave a comment below, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Thanks, bye.